Friends, today is Good Friday 2020. There is no day like today in the history of humanity. 2000 years ago, Jesus came to this world, lived for 33 and a half years and died on the cross of Calvary for your sins, my sins and for the sins of mankind. It doesn't matter whether you are a Hindu, Muslim, Jew or Gentile, Christian or Catholic, Buddhist or Baptist. Jesus died for all. Irrespective of caste, creed, religion, nationality, he died for the entire humanity. That is why billions of Catholics and Christians and Muslims believe him. Most believe him as the Lord and Savior. Many believe him as one of God's. Some believe him like Muslims as the prophet. But one thing for clue, one thing for sure, that Jesus has impacted billions of people in this world like no other human being ever or will ever impact. He saved the humanity during this corona crisis virus. Eight billion people live in fear, trembling, shaking from the prime minister of UK, Boris Johnson, to the Hollywood stars, to ordinary people, villagers, from the New York City, powerful people from Miami mayor. Everybody is living in fear. We are in the last days. Turn to Jesus. There is hope. There is healing. There is a miracle for you. Nothing. I'm not asking any money. I'm not asking anything for you to give. Share this message with everyone who needs hope, who needs healing, who needs prayers. Join me. Let us save humanity. Jesus said, I am the Lord that healeth thee. Jesus said, I will give my peace unto you. You will have peace of mind. Jesus said, by my stripes you are healed. Why to worry? Why to panic? Why to struggle? Why to be distressed? Why to be troubled? Let not your hearts be troubled. Today is Good Friday. As Jesus said in his scriptures, God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Do you believe him? All it takes is for you to believe him, for you to repent of your sins. We are sinners. I am a sinner, you are a sinner. None of us born righteous. None of us will die righteous. Our righteousness is filthy rags in his sight. But whereas the righteousness of Jesus, the blood of Jesus on the cross of Calvary, which was shed 2000 years ago, can wash away all your sins, cleanse you with his precious blood and make you holy and make you righteous. Let me read a couple of scriptures about Good Friday. Because why we call it Good Friday today? Because it is a good Friday. It is a day to celebrate. It's a day to rejoice that Jesus died on, on our place, in our place for your sins and my sins. So we don't need to go to hell. Everlasting fire, brimstone, gnashing of teeth and veil with Satan and Satan's followers. Unbeliever. But if you don't believe in Jesus and you reject his salvation, his plan for you, no other choice but you will have to go to spend eternity in hell. That is why every day, Hundreds of thousands of people are dying. Where will you spend your eternity? Will you spend eternity with Jesus? The only way you will. If you say, Jesus, say this prayer with me. I am a sinner. You are the Savior. Come into my heart. Change my life. Make me your child. If you prayed that prayer, if you trust Jesus, your sins are forgiven. It says Mark 10.34 Who will mock him and split on him, flock him and kill him. Three days later he will rise. There are people still today, even after Jesus rose from the grave on the third day, Roman soldiers and the grave could not hold him and still they mock. Oh, how can he be the savior? My friend, no matter what, you believe in him or not, he believes in you. He loves you. He wants you to be saved. And he rose again on the third day. 
and it says Matthew 12 40 for as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of huge fish so the son of man will be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth just like prophet Jonah was three days in the belly of fish because he rebelled against God instead of going to Nineveh he went to Tarsus God punished him God taught him lesson finally God made him to go to Jonah to tell people his gospel same way he was in the belly of fish for three days Jesus will be in this earth and he will raise again and he did 2000 years ago that's why he is living in the spirit with us Romans 5th chapter verse 6 to 10 it says you read all those verses you see at just right the right time when we were still powerless Christ died for the ungodly very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person though for a good person someone might possibly die dare to die but God demonstrated his own love for us in this while we were still sinners Christ died for us we are sinners for a good person one in a crow one in a billion may die or for a child a mother may die but whereas for the entire humanity while we are still sinners rebelled against him born in sin living in sin dying in sin smelling in sin he died for us so we don't need to die eternally everlasting peace everlasting salvation everlasting gift of God is given to us only through Jesus the one and only Savior who died for all of us all of us first Peter third chapter says for Christ also suffered once for sins the righteous for the unrighteous to bring you to God he was put to death in the body but made alive in the spirit he was put to death so that we have relationship with God first Peter 2 24 he himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness by his wounds we have been healed we might die to sin so that we can live in righteousness because he bore our sins and that's why he is the Lord not only saves from all our sins but heals from all our sicknesses if you put faith it doesn't mean I am against doctors and medicines but he is the doctor of doctors God of gods Lord of lords king of kings savior of saviors we know the scripture John 3 16 whoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life mark 9 says verse 31 because he was teaching his disciples said to them the son of man is going to be delivered into the hands of men they will kill him and after three days he will raise as he said he rose again on the third day Isaiah 53 verse 3 to 9 when you have time read he was despised and rejected by mankind a man of suffering and familiar with pain like one from whom people hide their faces he was despised and we held him in low esteem surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering yet we considered him punished by God stricken by him and afflicted he took our sins he bore our pain so that we don't need to live in pain we don't need to live in sin pray this prayer with me heavenly gracious father I don't want to live in sin I want to live for you live in you live with you come Jesus live in my heart enlighten me so I can enlighten others lead me to lead others empower me to empower others give me success give me understanding give me a life of full of peace happiness and joy in Jesus name Amen if you love your friend whoever you know share this video let everyone be blessed join me together we can transform this world God bless you be blessed